Hello, Dolphin fans. I think it's about that time that I finally go over my win and loss game by game predictions for the Miami Dolphins this year. And I'm going to do something a little different than I did last year. Last year, I just did one of these videos. This year, I'm going to do three. So, this is going to be the first one. It's called 1.0. These are my predictions for what I think will happen now. Maybe things will change in the future. Maybe they won't. But I'll just go over what I think is going to happen on our schedule. How many games we're actually going to win. Not, I won't say a lot of people are hyping up the Dolphins, but will this team live up to the hype or will they kind of disappoint? Let's just get into it here. Um, week one is at New England. And this is obviously a really interesting way to start the season because this is where we ended it last year on a really big upset. The first time we won in New England since 2008. Tom Brady is gone. Now they're putting in Jarrett Stidham. We don't really know how he is, but we do know how Bill Belichick is. So I wouldn't expect anything too much less. But we're still rolling out there with a the team that's kind of on fire. They're motivated. They're ready to go. They're excited about their future. And I'm actually going to buy into it. I'm going to say the Dolphins win this one. I think they start out the season pretty good with a win on the road. And the Patriots, remember, never start out the season super well. So I think they can win that one. Then their home opener in week two is versus Buffalo. And just trust me, we're not going to win. Uh, yeah, we don't win to the Bills. And that's not going to change. The one Bills game I went to was actually their home opener in 2015 and um yeah that was not pretty so i'm not gonna be that stupid here <laughs> um week three is our only primetime game it's thursday night football at jacksonville and uh most people are probably gonna disagree with me on this one but i'm actually gonna say loss we haven't really been too good against the jaguars recently and i just i don't really know i, I don't really feel too good about going on the road on Thursday night. I know it's just in Jacksonville, but uh, I don't know. I feel like Gardner Minshew is going to maybe be on fire on this game. I don't know. I just personally don't actually predict a win here. Week four, we're at home versus Seattle. Could definitely see an upset here for sure. Seattle never usually plays that well in Florida or just on the East Coast, but I'll still predict a loss here. It is still tough to doubt Russell Wilson, and I just don't know if our team's really ready especially in week five as we go to San Francisco. Obviously, it's the Super Bowl runner-up, so not going to predict a win here. I think we're going to lose this one as well. Week six at Denver. Um, I don't know. Could be interesting. Going to still put a loss here, though. I don't think we'll win that one. Week seven is versus the Los Angeles Chargers. We've kind of been on a losing streak, but I think that does end here. I think they do finally get a win. Chargers, we usually play pretty well against, and they'll be traveling all the way here from Los Angeles, so we should get a win. Uh, it's not like they really have a lot of fans to root them on anyway. <laughs> uh, week 8 is versus the LA Rams. I think we'll lose this one, though. Our O-line against Aaron Donald, I feel like, is going to be a little bit too much, and I do still believe in Sean McVay. Week 9 at Arizona. I think we'll lose this one too. Uh, I think the Cardinals have a lot of hype getting, or uh, have a lot of hype heading into the season, and I think they'll actually justify that this year. Week ten, this is the weirdest part of the schedule for sure. So we have versus the New York Jets, and I will predict a win there. We seemingly get at least one win to the Jets every year. Week eleven is the bye week, and then week twelve we play the Jets. It, again just on the road obviously so it's back-to-back -back weeks for the for the Jets I can't talk right now I'm sorry uh back-to-back -back <laughs> games for the Jets so that was weird um the Jets have a bye week in week 11 as well just a really weird part of the schedule but I'm actually going to predict a win here as well I think we'll actually sweep the series against the Jets we should have done that last year and we play just really well against the Jets all the time so i don't actually think we'll get swept i think we'll actually sweep them week 13 versus cincinnati i think we can win this one cincinnati i don't think is going to be too good week 14 versus kansas city we do have a second home game but this is still the team that won the super bowl i don't see this going too well i'm going to predict a loss 
week 15 it is a third straight home game and it is new england at miami usually we can win that game but i don't think it's actually going to happen here just because we already got our you know win to the patriots that we always get every year um and i just think that at this point in the season bill belichick and jarrett stidham you know they're going to be in the playoff push probably for the division uh but i just think they'll be ready to roll on this game and we're not going to quite pull it off then we end the season with two road games week 16 at las vegas that'll be exciting to go to but i'm also not going to predict a win so maybe not that exciting <laughs> uh and then week 17 at buffalo that isn't going to go well the bills maybe will be fighting for a playoff spot i'm definitely not as high on them as everyone else is but they could be even if they're not i don't see this going well we never win in buffalo so yeah just don't see this one going well and at the end of the day i have us going 5 and 11 i know that's definitely not as good as we all hope i hope they do better than that that's actually what they were last year so we can hope that they can show a little better than that it's just i think the schedule is really really tough and uh we'll just we'll see we'll see how it all turns out but um yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next week